You found Striker of Enyo, and the following is an excerpt from my main video, I Play Every Xbox Live Arcade Game Part 2, which is a massive three and a half hour experience that I encourage you to check out if you like what you see here. Hey, 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 kids, crazy taxi. <laughs> oh, God. This game was first released in arcades in 1999 and then ported over to the Dreamcast in 2000. The main objective is to pick up customers and take them to their chosen destination as quick as possible. You might be thinking, well, why didn't they just call this Uber driver? And that's when we all collectively slap you in the face, because this is 1999, idiot. You only have two stages, the arcade version and the additional original stage that was added for the console versions. You also got Crazy Box, a mode that was seen in some of the previous console versions of the game. It's just a set of mini games that feature challenges, sometimes telling you how to do a more advanced technique. They give you a little break from the main game, like knocking over bowling pins or popping giant balloons, but there's not many of them. Crazy Taxi is most legendary for its soundtrack of the time, featuring the bands The Offspring and Bad Religion who provided all of the tracks for the arcade, Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and GameCube ports. Sega replaced the iconic soundtrack for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 versions of Crazy Taxi, and fans weren't happy. Sega also didn't seem to bother optimizing the game. A number of ports that Sega did for XBLA and PSN were substandard at the time. They simply brought over the content from the original arcade or Dreamcast version, but without really taking any time to fix the frame rate or performance in any kind of way. If you're younger, you might not find much appeal. Crazy Taxi is shallow by today's standards, and there's almost no depth to it. The old school driving physics really feel outdated. When the taxi slams into traffic, it almost seems like it glitches out and shoves everything out of the way. And you get hung up on corners pretty easy. This is how the game was designed, but nowadays you would expect better physics and better control of your taxi. It's only average today, 5 out of 10. For many, the original licensed music is what made this game what it is. Without it, it loses a lot of its charm. During the 2023 Game Awards, Sega revealed their Power to the Next Level trailer, showing that they were working on proper remakes to five of their old properties, with Crazy Taxi being one of them. It looks good, and this could be a huge step in the right direction for Sega, but let's hope they get the music right, at least this time. Uh, class D license. I can't believe it. Was that your best? I don't think so. Game over. Would you like to know more? Did you like the video you just watched? Then leave a comment. Even give me a like. Then head to my channel for more. I got several series like Rage Quit 2, How the F Did I Die, and I even have a playlist for everything related to the I Play Every Xbox Live arcade game. You'll find all the parts, including higher bitrate versions of certain segments and eventually audio commentaries. If you want to see what I'm currently working on, then check the community tab on my channel. It's just right here. This is where I give occasional updates on what I'm working on and mention what's coming up next. If you want to watch the main video where this segment came from, then it should be showing up right about now, on the upper left side of the screen. The playlist for the entire series will be on the lower right. Thank you for any watch time that you can spare. The response of the series has been very positive, so thank you all.